What's up, everybody? It's Daddy De Leon Court, and this is Pure Tentacion. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I hope that the content here inspires you to be the best you that you can be. Okay, I'm so excited because I want to share something with you guys. I want to show you guys a very special haul. I went to Lush today and got a few things. <laughs> Not a few ting. I was in that bitch running up a check for real. But I want to show you guys exactly what I got. All right. First, I want to start with a couple of things that I haven't tried before. But if you haven't already uh, heard of heard of uh, Lush before, Lush is a handmade company. They start in. They started in the UK. They're a handmade cosmetic company. They started off making bath bombs, and I think they just now they have everything: bath bombs body sprays, body lotions, body conditioners, hair conditioners, hair care, even fragrance. This is one of my favorite semi-organic um, brands. And anyways, let's just get right into it. All right. So there was a couple of things that I saw here. So, so Lush had a huge or is having right now a huge 50% off of uh, sale where they are offering 50% 50, 50 off of most, a lot of their products. So I wanted to use this opportunity to try a couple of things that I've never tried before. And this is Yognog. It's a shower gel. It's sweet and spicy. And I like it because it has those gold pieces in there. I was told that it really doesn't s stick to the skin, which kind of sucks because I did want some glitter on me. But, um... This, I'm interested in seeing like exactly how this wears. So I just got a little small bottle um, because I have never tried this before. So I wanted to give it a try, but that's y'all not there. Now this is a fragrance that I'm familiar with, but I've never tried the body wash. It's Snow Fairy Shower Gel. This is an amazing candy-like, cotton candy, snowy sort of scent. It's, it's, it's great. It's perfectly lovely, and I'm only I can only imagine that the shower gel is just as good. I actually got two of these because they were 50% off, so I guess it'd be like two for one. I guess that is just so these are huge, they're 500 ml a piece, so I'm gonna have lots of fun with that now. Um, I like the Lord of Misrule scent. I own the uh, fragrance, but that's the only thing that I own. And I've never had the shower gel before. So I'm excited to try this. Uh, it's green. And if you don't know already, there's a new horror movie called The Lord of Misrule. And it's about this day, I believe it's in Ireland, where they just like go completely ham. So this fragrance is like, it captures um, that festival. Get down and earthly with this mischievous black pepper and patchouli. This is lovely. Green's my favorite color, so I like that. So, Lord of Mishru shower gel. For all my glitter lovers out there, I got some fairy dust. This huge 200 gram fairy dust here. And this is like a body polish slash uh, shimmer. It's glittery. And who doesn't like a little glitter? It doesn't really have much of a... Um, scent it does have a sort of like a sweet tart or hard candy scent to it but not a lot but this really isn't made to scent your body it's more so made to uh like powder your body and also add some glitter let's move on to some fun stuff barbie dreams sugar scrub this is a foaming sugar scrub here i got this because i just really like the packaging like that pink tub that hot pink tub right there with the metallic Barbie dream. I mean, I had to sh support. And then it was 50% off. So it that is just no brainer. This smells like identical to the body spray. Um, and it does lather, like I said before. And I can't wait to get my body, get this on my body and try it out. Snow Fairy Body Lotion. What I really liked about this body lotion is that when you put it on you get a, it has a very oily finish like it's not like boring like a lot of body lotions are 
I'm an oil wearer and this has high oil content in it plus that nice snow fairy scent it's really good I got two of these two all right so the part you all have been waiting for if you've made it this far go ahead and like this video and go ahead and comment under here and let me know exactly where you're watching from the fragrances 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 now I want to let you guys know lush makes niche quality body sprays their body sprays pack a punch which is the reason why they're so like their price so high like these are like eau de parfum concentration body sprays let's get into it lord of misrule i've owned i like i said before i own the fragrance in this i own the eau de parfum in this but i was just like i sprayed the tester in the air and i was like you know what this smells great let me just cop that got that for 50 percent off snow fairy I already have one of these. If you watch my previous video, you already know I have one of these already, but why not get another one when it's already at such a great value? Another one from my previous video, the Barbie Lush scent. I like these two. Needless to say, I really like these two scents and I'm kind of happy that they're limited edition and not really sold. So that way next year when we get them again, I'll be just as excited to have these. But I got another one of these too. And then avocado co-wash. Let me tell you something about this right here. This is a surprisingly sweet tart, very fruity. Like the sillage is, it, it pulls you in. I went to a... um a vintage uh, showcase, a vintage clothing uh, showcase, and I wore this scent. And I'm telling you, when I was walking past the regular line and, and going through the VIP line, like people were stopping me, or trying to anyways, stopping me and asking me, what are you wearing? And, believe, and I was only wearing this that day. I was only wearing this. Avocado co-wash, like this is fruity. It's juicy. Oh, God, I don't even want to just waste any more time talking about that. All right. So y'all know I had to get me some parfums. <laughs> there was only a couple that I really saw that I really liked. Well, not that. They, I had most of them, but these were just some I just felt like I needed to get. Carter Mom Coffee. This is from my previous video. I love it. This is, I, I, and I'm like. This wasn't actually on sale, but so what? They only had one left and I was like, let me just go ahead and cop that because I'm gonna regret it if I don't. Turmeric latte. Turmeric latte is to me what Joe Malone um, ginger cookie or ginger spice or whatever it is, is to others. Turmeric latte is an amazing spicy uh, uh, ambery type of fragrance. It's almost reminiscent of Mason Francis, Kirjan, uh, Mousse Ravageur. Is it Mousse Ravageur? No, excuse me, Grand Soir. Mousse Ravageur is um, Frederick Ball. <laughs> Anyways, turmeric latte is an amazing scent. It's blended very, very nicely. Like I said before, their, their fragrances are not to be slept on whatsoever. They permeate really nicely great long lasting sillage and projection i got two of these bad boys because why not i'm probably gonna go on a no buy that's a lie i'm not no buying shit <laughs> excuse me um you only live one life why would i pass up on an opportunity to have a piece of joy Anyways, guys, um, this is my haul. I'm so pleased with it. I'm so proud of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like this video. Share this video with your friends. And let's get the party started. I really want to get to know a lot of you folks out there that are really passionate about fragrance as much as I am. It's Daddy DeLeon Court, and this is Pure Tentacion. See you next time. Ciao.